Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. In this video, I will show you a few simple crafts to try that are calming and fun to make. Maybe some of you have had a stressful year or you're tense from the holidays coming up or maybe finals are coming up. Whatever the stress in your life, I think just the act of making something can take your mind off of stuff and give you a little calming relief. My channel is full of ideas and more things you can make that you might also find relaxing, so go check out the playlist on my channel and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I upload something new every week and let's get into it. Let's get our calm on. First, let's try paint pouring. In these small cups, I'm going to mix an equal amount of acrylic paint and water. And stir each color so the paint and water is mixed well together. For the pouring, I'm using a tray so it doesn't make too much of a mess. And for the canvas, I'm using a wood frame which I found at the craft store. You can also use any type of canvas or object that you want to pour on. Then I'm placing some cups in the tray so that the frame is elevated above the tray. And now the fun part, pour the paint. There's no wrong way to do this. You can pour it in any direction or pattern you want and keep pouring until your whole canvas is covered. You can wear gloves if you want to and tilt the canvas to move around the swirls of paint. The best part to me is watching the swirls of color come together and pour off. I could really watch this all day. You can move around the paint with your hands to cover the canvas or just watch it swirl around and do its thing. And I did the same method to this other frame. Another technique you can try is swirling around to make a marbled effect with the end of a paintbrush or a pen, or you can also drip it onto your canvas and blow the paint around to make a different effect. And give the paint at least one day to completely dry. And here's how my wood frames turned out. Because these were raw wood, I think the first layer of paint was soaked in first, so they came out darker than I thought they would. And the paint was more of a stain, but the paint turned out looking like really soft and dreamy swirls of color. Next, here's how to make a mandala zen garden. You can try this with a box lid or any container you want, and pour sand into it. I found this colored sand at the craft store, but you can use natural sand or color your own if you want to. This kind of reminds me of the beach and just touching sand can be calming in itself. To make a smooth surface on the sand, you just need to tilt your container just a little bit so that it has a flat surface. And now your sand canvas is ready for a mandala. You can use a skewer or a pencil and start drawing it. And I did make a video on how to doodle a mandala, which you can check out right up here, and I will also link it down below. Making this is pretty simple. Just start in the middle and work your way outward, making similar shapes all around in a circle. You can let your mind wander and make any shape you want. Making shapes in the sand can be really soothing, and you give yourself a zen moment in your own little zen garden. This would be a calming thing to keep on your desk. Maybe you're having a stressful day at work. You can just grab a pencil and draw in the sand to chill out. Something else to try is making a curly paper rain cloud. I cut a letter sized paper into two inch strips. You can make as many strips as you want to make a large cloud. I then cut colorful paper into two inch strips and then cut those in half. So these will be the colorful raindrops. To make the curly cloud, all you have to do is wrap the strips around a pen, a pencil, or a skewer. Cutting paper and folding it in really simple ways can be an easy way to take your mind off things and just get lost in a craft. The more you unroll it and stretch it, the bigger the cloud shape will be. Then you can glue all of those pieces together to make a cloud shape. And a small dot of hot glue will be enough to hold it all together. Then to make the raindrops, just glue the edges of the colorful strips together to make a drop shape. And now you've made a three-dimensional paper sculpture, which you can hang on the wall as an art piece. I used a tack in the wall to hold the cloud in place, and then below that, put a tack for each raindrop. You could customize this by making bigger clouds or more clouds, and I could totally see this in a nursery or a kid's room, and it makes a really cute piece of wall decor. 
Another thing to try is a calming jar. In a jar or a bottle with a lid, you can put in any kind of items that are waterproof and that will be fun to watch float around. Try different textured things like confetti, buttons, beads, glitter. Leaving a little bit of room on the top, fill your container with water and put all of those items in. You can also try some drops of food color, which in my opinion is really relaxing to watch when it's dropped into the water. I just love watching swirls of color. Then you can add liquid glycerin to fill up the rest of the bottle. This will make the items flow around slower, which will be more calming to watch. And the more glycerin you add, the slower the items will float around. Shake it all together and watch the items float around to feel the calming effect. This is a popular craft for kids that gets them to focus on the bottle, which makes them calm down a little bit, but I think it can work for adults as well. And it's similar to a snow globe, but with bulkier items, which creates texture to move around. Let me know which one of these projects is your favorite in the comments below. And if you try any of these out, I would love to see your pictures. So share those with me on my social links and add a hashtag sea lemon. And if you want to try some more relaxing art, I will put a video up right here and I will put the link down below, including links to the supplies that I used in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye.